Hello everyone, welcome back, here's Van Amsen. So, uh, today we are going to tackle a lead code daily challenge, uh, maximal network uh, rank. So I assure you this problem has some very insightful concept to grasp. So uh, let's start by understanding the problem at hand. So we have been given a setup comprising of N cities uh, interconnected by several roads. And our mission is to ascertain the maximal uh, network rank uh, across all uh, the city pairs. So uh, to visualize it, we have uh, circles, so our cities and lines, uh, the roads connecting them. And the concept of the network rank between two distinct cities is the cumulative count of roads directly linked to either of the two cities. However, there is a subtle nuance. So if a road directly connects both cities, we only count it once. So uh, let's look at example. So given uh, this graph, so it's represented by uh, the list of lists, uh, and those are connection between uh, our cities. Uh, the maximum possible connection is four. And why is this? So it's for city zero and one, and we have one road, uh, second, third, and fourth. And this road fourth uh, is counted only once. Uh, so as you can see, those road has uh, four connection. If we put, pick uh, another roads, for example, uh, or another cities, uh, the value will be not as big and uh, as in uh, this case. So for example, uh, if we pick uh, number three and number zero, there will be just one road, uh, second and third. So it will be free. Uh, so that's why we choose uh, city zero and one with uh, four interconnected uh, roads. Okay, so now when we understand the problem, uh, our first task uh, is to yeah, uh, translate uh, it to a code and think how can we solve it. Uh, so for first, uh, let's compute the degree for every city. And essentially we will come and count the number of roads so yeah uh, each city is connected to so it's a linear uh, and straightforward step so let's do this so step number one compute the degree for each city and it will be just a degree 0 times n and 4 a b in roads uh, degree A plus 1, degree B plus 1. And using a set to store the roads. Uh, O1 lookup and roads set will be set tuple road for roads in roads. Okay, so. Uh, to enhance our solution uh, efficiently, I'm going to employ a useful trick. So uh, by achieving the, archiving uh, the roads uh, in a set data structure, we can instantly verify if two cities share a direct road, uh, saving a computational time. So now for the most engaging part, we will loop through all potential power of a city computing their network rank. So as we proceed, we will keep an eye uh, out uh, for the highest rank observed. So uh, let's do this. So max rank will be zero. And step two, iterate over all per of cities. Four, I in range n for j in range i plus 1 n calculate network rank so rank will be degree i degree j and if there is a direct row between i and j subtract one because it's uh, overlapping so if i j uh, i j in 
road set or j in road set then rank minus one as simple as this and step number three so keep track of the maximal network rank okay so uh, and uh, now uh, for the most engaging part uh, we process every rank and uh, as we process we will keep uh, the rank updated and the last part is also maximal rank mm. okay. maximal rank uh, will be rank uh, yeah between uh, max rank and rank and return finally max rank so this is our implementation, so a really simple logic. Uh, yeah, I think I missed something. Okay, so let's run it to verify everything's work. So, uh, yep, yeah, all good. So test case passed. Now we can submit it for uh, unsynthesis cases. So for unsynthesis cases, we beat 81% with respect to uh, runtime and also 15% yeah, so not much uh, with respect to memory but uh, it's quite runtime efficient maybe not so because it's uh, yeah, probably uh, O uh, n square uh, time complexity uh, but yeah uh, it's really straightforward uh, solution and very intuitive and uh, there you have it our solution in Python work perfectly uh, but uh, if you prefer other programming languages, uh, I will include uh, solution implementation in uh, Java, Go, Rust, uh, and much more. And uh, yeah, in the video description. And there you have it, our code execute flawlessly. And uh, I hope this walkthrough was uh, helpful. And always remember each coding challenge uh, uh, give you a way for learning and growing and I appreciate spending your time with me today and if this video added value to your coding uh, journey uh, yep <laughs> uh, please hit the like button and uh, do subscribe for more in-depth uh, coding uh, exploration uh, tutorials and much more soon and stay motivated uh, keep practicing happy coding and see you next time